Hey, this is Chris from Essential SQL. And if you've ever looked for a couple of ways to see whether a string contains another string, then you'll want to check out this episode. Hey, if you like our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. All right, so today we're going to go through several ways that you can find a string within another string. So what do I mean by that? All right, so let's look at our AdventureWorks database and look at the product name. And what I want to do is I want to find all the products that have the word frame in them. Okay, so maybe we're looking to make sure that our product numbers line up correctly. And so rather than, you know, kind of search through this whole thing like I am right now, what I want to really do is just scoot through this and look for product name. Now, if you're just starting to use SQL, I'm sure you've learned how to use the where clause. And you can say like where, you know, name, I alias the product name, so I'm calling it name, you know, can equal a certain value like, um, you know, paint dash blue, let's say, right? And then if I got this exactly right, when I run it, I should get this row back. So you know how to do exact matches, right? So how do we do contains? All right, so let's start out with the first way that I know, and then we'll go into some other crazier methods. So the first way I want to show you is how to use the like clause. So again, we're going to look for frame. So I'm going to say here, um, look for um, frame in my notes and what I want to do is instead of saying where name equals like frame let's try that because maybe that'll work comes back with nothing what I could use is like clause so what I can do is say it's like and then if I run this you think it might work because I'm saying like like it and it comes back with nothing again so it's like oh my gosh what am I doing wrong I need a pattern I need to tell the computer that what I'm worried what I'm really looking for is like I'm looking for frame but don't worry about if there's some text in front of it or text behind frame and that whole don't worry about it part is called a pattern and what we're going to do now is specify a pattern so in SQL it's kind of strange they use the percent sign for the pattern uh, you might be used to star or like in other applications or DOS or whatever but SQL percent, so get used to it. And if I run this now, you're gonna see, boom, it comes back with everything that's a frame, right? So you can see frame hidden in here. So this is a, a really good way to do searches is using like, and I'm gonna put some links in that'll take you to some um, other articles I have that you know dig more into uh, how patterns can be set up because what I've really done here is basically said, any text in front of frame and any text behind. Alrighty, so let's look at another way we can sus frame out of our product name. And to do this, I'm going to use a function called care index. What care index will do is it will actually tell us the actual position that the word frame is, is within the name field. And if it can't find frame, it's going to return um, the value of zero. So what we can do is basically use care index and if it's value that it's returned is greater than zero then we know we found frame so let's try that so i'm going to say where and i'm going to say care index and then i'm going to say what i'm searching for is frame and what i'm searching is name so here you can see search expression it's the first value so that's frame and expression we search is our column and it's going to bring back a um, value and if i say it's greater than zero then that means it found it within our expression so here again you can see that we're bringing back all the um, products where frame was found now there's a, a better well, I shouldn't say a better, but another way you can do this, and it's called um, pat index. And pat index will use a um, pattern just like the like clause did, or the like operator, to search. So I can say pat index here. All right. And then I believe I can just put, like, if I run it like this with frame, it's going to come back with nothing. And then if I put the pattern in there like I had for the like clause where I had the percents, 
it'll come back with the frame. So it's very close to care index, except now it gives you a little more latitude because you can do some patterns with it. Okay, so the last way I want to show you how to use um, SQL to find something is by using the in clause. And it's gonna, we're gonna go through a couple of things here. So this is actually pretty interesting. All right, so if you're familiar with in, you've probably seen where if I had like two product numbers like these two guys, I could do something like where um, product number in, right? And then you can say these product numbers are in my uh, list here. So find all the products that are in this list, right? Let's indent this over so it looks a little easier to read. And I should get back two rows. All right, so can I do the same thing with, with frame? Can I go in and say, hey, just you know, search name and if frame's in name, then you know, return the row. Let's try it. So really what I what I want to be able to do here is is do something like um, frame boom boom and then this would be the name right and I get rid of this guy and see what happens so why did not return something well it's because it's looking at the whole value of the column not the individual pieces so we need to kind of chop it up into um, little tokens and then it can compare those token values to frame and then um, let us know if it found it. So there is a way to do that and it's using a function called string split. So I want to show you how that works because it's actually a pretty cool function. So I can say where name in and I'm, I'm gonna do the same thing here except we're gonna now split out the product names, okay? We're going to split these out by their words. So we're gonna have bearing and then ball bb ball and then bearing and we're going to use spaces to do the split okay so what i can do here is say we're name in and i'm going to write a subquery right and i'm going to keep part of this here and i'm going to say select value value is a special keyword that's used to denote uh, something coming back from a um, table value function so say value from and then i can say string split and then um, this one's kind of strange so it wants to know what this let's see strings for input um, it wants to know the string first all right so it's going to be name and then um, it wants to know uh, what I'm splitting by of space okay so I'm going to take this part now and get it out of here and then flip this and say where frame is in these values that have all been sliced and diced, right? So I'm going to take the product descriptions and slice them and dice them like handset ball bearings will now be like handset and then ball and then bearings. The string split will actually create a table, this tiny little temporary table of those three words, which then work properly with the in clause. So let's try this, see if I got this right. And here you can see it came back with frame. I've noticed when I run this query that it comes back with less rows than the other um, methods have so far. And I was checking it out and and reason is, is if you come in here, you'll see that there's a couple other frames in here they're not in here they're in the other one so let's bring that up so let's do uh um and i'll show you what i mean so i can do select um where um name like frame right oops and i go look and we'll see here when i search of course, I forgot my pattern. Oh my lord, disaster! Now it'll work. 
you'll see there's a couple oddball frames in here. See this, there's this frame W. Well, the string split's working off of spaces, so frame dash W is a token onto itself, and so it won't get put into this in clause. So in summary, here are the, the different methods. I used like, I used care index, I used pad index. I tried to use in, but it didn't work. But I was able to use the split function, the string split function, and then use in to make um, a good comparison. But as we saw, when you do that, sometimes the tokens aren't exactly what you want. Uh, I did this mainly just to show you that there's more than one way to approach problem and also that you may not have known about string split and it's a pretty handy function. All right, so have a great day and uh, look forward to uh, teaching you more SQL down the road.